What's going on everybody? Cap here and welcome back to my Infiniverse. This is episode, I don't even know, 17 I think we're on? Something like that? Get out of my way. This villager is totally in my way right now. But, today I have a huge undertaking. So this video I'm going to record it now, which is uh, Monday. And who knows what day I'll actually finish because there's going to be quite an undertaking uh, happening. Now, originally, remember I liked all the mountains back here behind this village? I do not anymore. Instead, I want to make it... Well, there's going to be the mountain over there I'm still going to kind of keep. I'll show you. I'll kind of walk you through it. Uh, also, I mapped out where I want to put the glow squid farm, an axolotl farm. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But I have it mapped out just in case I want to. And for some reason, all of my chickens died. So I had to take all the eggs out of there, go back. As you can see, they're all babies now. I, I don't know why, but they all died. I mean, I still have a decent amount of uh, chicken. But, yeah, I'm pretty upset about that. And I've also been using my uh, Silk Touch shovel to clear out some of these mushrooms, which I'll show you where. But what I want to do is turn this back part of this, uh, this village here into a beach. So as you can see, we already have the sand here. And I took down, I started taking out a lot of the trees, uh, like a lot of the trees. This is, this is where I was, um, growing my moss before. So I got, I still got to knock down that tree, but let's jump up here. I want to literally level all of this. This is going to take me ages and ages and ages to do. I want to get it down to, I'll show you the level actually. So if we're going over here, I want to take it down to this level right here. Okay, so this level right here is actually... Well, I'm going to put sand here. Cover that. But this is where I want it to be. Yeah, so quite a bit. Quite a bit. But what I want to do is take this. Uh, and we're going to come over here. Let's just continue to go. I hate that I have to jump. Right there. We're going to keep that as a mountain. I'm probably going to end up building it up, actually. But that part is going to be a mountain. Because this is um, where I went to go get... The sand for, gee, I don't even know, episode 8 or 7 or something like that, or 9. Remember I walked through here to go get the the sand when I was when I was doing the dye for the banners? There we go. So all the way over there is it there, but I want to kind of level all of this. Because it's it'll make a really nice beach. It's just, you know, a lot. So this is kind of a natural pathway through here. So we'll have like the beach on this side, the mountain on that side, and the village straight ahead. Um, and I think it'll look, yeah, I think it'll look good. So I'm going to start leveling that now. That is, uh, that is going to be quite the undertaking. So, uh, yeah, wish me luck. And then we'll come back and I'll, I'll decorate it. We'll put some, you know, we'll put some stuff on the beach and, and things like that. And I might, I'm not saying I'm going to do this. But I might do some kind of auto tide machine. Uh, we'll see. That's that's it's kind of silly, so maybe not. But uh, I'm thinking about doing some kind of auto tide machine, where like we have water that kind of rushes up. So what I'm gonna actually do first is kind of extend this out, right? So I'm gonna take some dirt, which I don't, oh I do have some dirt. Good, I have regular dirt. So I'm gonna actually. Drop this down, right, to about, let's see. Yeah, we'll probably come out about this far with it. Okay, I'm gonna be, I want it to be solid underneath, so there's no, like, you know, squid or anything stuck under there. Okay, and I'm going to extend this going all the way across, but it's going to kind of come in on, like, a circle and come up. And then what I want to do is drop it down one layer each time. So you kind of have, like, you know, on a beach, if, uh, if you guys have ever been to a beach, I'm sure most of you have. If not all of you, you know, like how you walk out and then there's some point where it just kind of drops off into the ocean. That's kind of what I want to have. But what I'm thinking of is the flat land like this. If I put dispensers underneath with some kind of clock, we can have water shoot out, kind of push towards the shore. It'll also push back this way uh, and just kind of spread them out. The only thing is it's going to look funny having them, you know, having those kind of pop out. So that's why I'm still kind of debating whether or not I want to do it. But I, I think it could be kind of a cool idea. All right, so let me show you what I did. It has actually been a full week since I last recorded that first part. Um, I also caught this guy. 
I named him Johnny, but uh, I caught him because he was he's just been standing over here. He was literally at this villager, just like, hey, I'm going to kill you, but he never did. And he's just been there the entire time. Uh, but this is probably the most work I've ever put into one single episode in the three seasons that I've done on this channel and the three seasons that I did on a previous channel um, of Minecraft. So, yeah, take a look. So, first of all, I think I'm going to put a rock structure there or I might... I think I'm going to put the lighthouse right there and I might actually just have like a little bridge connecting to it. So I'm going to leave that part alone. But look at this. Look at what I did. I don't know if you guys can appreciate how much of an undertaking this was. See right here? There was stuff right here. There, that, that island came out to about there. And then this all over here. This was a whole mountain. Remember? Remember? All of this was just a mountain. Yeah, it's not a mountain anymore. Okay, and I ended up having to actually add that to the back of my entrance to my, uh, you know, where I'm mining stuff. It doesn't look too bad. I can actually walk up it too and kind of climb over like a little cheat way, but yeah, it doesn't look too, too bad. I think it'll fit once we have everything done. And then take a look at this. So I cut into the mountain and I extended it out a little bit. Okay, and I ended up using the deep slate as my ground here uh, because I wanted to use it. I just really never used it for anything. So we kind of just go right through. All right, looks pretty good. And I'm going to do a bridge here. Uh, I haven't decided what the bridge is going to hit or if, it's, if, if this is actually just going to end up being a dock. I haven't really decided. But I really like this. I ended up putting a lot of trees up there. Uh, and the reason I went with the dirt is because... Where I live in New York, I don't know if it's the same other parts of the country, I assume it is. There are certain highways that, especially like if, when you go upstate, that cut through mountains. And you can actually see the bore lines where they, you know, they put the drills through and then they blast with the with the dynamite. And it look, I mean, it's, it's like, it almost looks like Minecraft. It's like perfect, like spots where you can see, it's like squares. It's really, really amazing. So I, I just wanted to kind of have that feel. Uh, but then I overloaded it with dark oak trees on the top and then oak trees on that bottom layer and then i added just a fence right here but i'm really happy with it and then this obviously is going to be a bridge going across there uh i'm probably going to end up adding now nah, you know what i'm going to leave it the way it is i'm not going to add some more sand there. i'm going to leave it exactly as it is but we are going to now start building uh, what I want to build. So we're going to do like a couple of lifeguards, um, like stations, and then we're going to do some stuff on the beach. And then I want to add some palm trees scattered about just to kind of give this life over here. Uh, we may add some bathrooms. Not sure about that. This is a lot of stuff that I got. Oh, 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 oh. I also went fishing and I finally got my mending book. So I got my mending book for this one. And my mending book, I added it to my, my axe. My axe already had everything else on it. I just added the, uh, the mending. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and I even had a lot more stuff. Obviously, I had a lot more dirt. Most of that dirt went into kind of reinforcing that mountain. It's just It was just a lot. It really was just a lot. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to get... I'm trying to think. Do we do dark? What do we want to do? Do we, I want to do dark or do I want to do sandstone and kind of build that up? Do we have any birch? Actually, birch might be cool. I swear we have birch. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we'll do some birch so that way it kind of stays close to what the um, the sand looks like, but it's it's still different. Okay, and then I want to get some cobble. Should I do cobblestone? I'm trying to think. No, what if we do... Okay, what if we do some andesite walls? That might look cool. So we'll do some andesite walls. I'm just going to get a whole bunch. Okay, we'll do some andesite walls. And then I do need some fence gates. Or some fences and fence gates. Which I guess will just be part of the Birchwood Plank family. So let's see what we got. Um, we got to do a bunch of these, right? Get... Some of this, some fences. We only need one fence gate, and then... Actually, you know, I don't even really think we need fence gates, actually, now that I think about it. Whoops. 
Uh, but we also need some ladders to go up. That should be that should be enough for at least one. Okay. And then I do want to do some... I was going to do a design. We have blue here. What design will go good? Maybe red. You know, I can get that afterwards. Okay, so now we have to figure out exactly where we're going to put the lifeguard station. So I think the first one we should probably do is right here somewhere. Now the question is, do we want it close? Like, do we want it down here? Yeah, probably, right? We probably want it down here, so... Okay, let's get this going. We can get rid of that, and we can do this. So we're going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think it's, I think we only need four by four, five. I don't know, we'll go like this. Skip two spaces, go like that. Skip two spaces like that, like that, perfect. Okay, we can go up. All right, so then right here, I'll put it, I'll go, let's see. One, two, three, four. We can add another one of these. Right, like, whoops, like that. Okay, and I'm going to put a solid, or uh, a full block on top like so. Okay, I'm going to put another block here, and then I'm going to put the stairs on this so I can walk up, but I do have to go get some slabs. All right, so I changed my mind about the color on the top. We're actually just going to end up using uh, some polished andesite. Okay, so now we're going to come out here with the, where is it? Yeah, with our birchwood slabs. Okay, we're gonna go like this, and we're just gonna go like all the way around, and also on the inside with it. So, that way the only part that is solid are the parts that are right above the wall right here. Alright, and then the only part that's gonna be open is this part right here, so it'll come across like that. We'll wrap this all the way around, I'm probably gonna need more. Yep, I am. Uh, that's okay, because then we're gonna come up with this, right there. Right there. Right there, actually we can, yeah, we can go across with that. Oh, you know what? I should probably come out by two on this side. Hmm. No, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. And then what I'll do is I'll put this here. Okay, just like that. Perfect, and then on top, um, I'm trying to think. I'll do, I think I'm gonna do the same thing. I'll do these here, and then I'll do slabs. Yeah, I'll do those there like this, right? Just coming across like that. And then I'll do slabs on the outside, going all around. So I need to get slabs and some more fences. Okay, now that that's done, so this is the front right here where the stairs are. I didn't actually do the, the fence yet, but on the top, left corner what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another andesite wall and then we're going to go up uh, I guess we'll do six since that's what we have left let's see. stop that put that down there we go okay so we'll do six so we'll go one two there we go we'll go three four uh, five actually you know what Four is probably good enough. Yeah, four is good enough. So we'll get on it and we'll do... I don't have a lot of white. But we'll do like second one down. One there. And then I'm going to go back one. So let me, let me break these. And then I'm going to go back diagonal one. So I wish I had some dirt. So we'll go like here... Right, and then hmm. yeah, and then I guess I'll come up with it here. Is that enough? Yeah. Out one more. I don't know if I have enough. And then maybe out one more. Is that is that good enough, or is that too is that too weird looking? Let's see. Let's get rid of all of the. Uh, let's get rid of all the blocks first. Whoops. All right. So I changed the flag up. I actually only made that uh, too high with the. Where is it? With the the birch fence. 
instead of five, I made it two, and then I just did, did the little flag like that. So this looks really good. I do have to get a light source in here. So I'm probably gonna end up adding it right to the top. Uh, and the only other thing I wanna do is actually add one more of these to the middle here, like that. So it has a little top to it. Okay, so now all I have to do is build a few more of these. So I'm gonna do that, a few more of these like little lifeguard um, stations, which I think look uh, look pretty awesome. So I'll build, I think three more. Yeah, I think I'm gonna build uh, three more three more lifeguard stations. We'll do one. Wait, what is it? One, one, two, three. Yeah, we'll do one here. Actually, I should probably put down. Yeah, we'll do one there. Okay, that'll be that'll be one more. Uh, we'll go a little further, and maybe we'll do one here. So we'll do one here. So it's one, two, three. Uh, we'll do another one here. Although let's go, let's go one back. Let's do it right there. So it's one, two, three, four. Uh, maybe I'll do two more then. So we'll do another one right. Let's try here. No, you know what? We got to do it where there's a five. So we can do it right here. One, two, three. Yeah, just like that. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. And then we'll do one more and we'll do it. Hmm, I'm trying to think. Let's do it right here. Okay, so those are going to be our five, like, lifeguard uh, towers. Then we'll add, I do have to go get some more wool. So we'll add some uh, beach blankets. We'll add some umbrellas. And then up here, what I was thinking is, this is going to be my path, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is going to be my path. So I can either, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm having a really hard time. So I can either add this going across and do another path, okay, using the same blocks, which I might do, just open this up. Or I could do some kind of wooden walkway but I don't think that'll look as good. Yeah, I think I might just extend this going all the way across. Maybe, what is it, three, right? The pattern's one, two, three. Yeah, I might just go out three this way and extend it all the way across. And then we can do, I don't know, stations or, or something up here or even raise, yeah, we might even be able to raise the, the sand up another layer. That's a possibility. Okay, so we have a couple things to do. So let me build the towers, go get the wool, and then we can come back and do uh, some of the beach blankets and stuff. All right, so uh, I have these here for the green colors, but everything else looks pretty good. Oh, I also added the dock, like I said I was going to. Uh, it's nothing crazy. I just lifted everything up by one and put some of these uh, things on it right here. And then I went ahead and I added a couple spots where you can walk up, um, just so it's you know it looks a little better. Yeah, see right here? I added another area where you can walk, and you just uh, you just go up with it. Uh, I got the things on. I still have to add lights. What I'm going to end up doing is actually adding uh, some lanterns underneath here, somewhere, just because. Or I might even I might even build it into the ground underneath. I might put like, yeah, I might actually do that. So what I'll do is I'll take this this sand and I'll do sandstone, but I'll do stairs upside down so I can actually have light shine through without there being light there. Uh, I also have a bed so I could sleep temporarily. I don't remember where I put it, it's over there. Okay, so what we're gonna end up doing now, which I think it'll, it'll look cool. If not, I'm gonna take the polished diorite and I'll eventually get quartz. I was just trying to you know, save myself from going to the, to the nether, but what we're gonna end up doing is doing some, uh, some of these right here. So forget over there, like I said, we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about that right this second. But we'll do it like, yeah, we'll do it like right here. So we'll end up doing like this and then one. Okay, and then this and then one. Oh, 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 I forgot to make, um, shoot. 
I forgot to make these rear fences. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're gonna go up here. We'll do two up. I guess two looks, two should be good. All right, and then what we'll do is on top of that, I'm gonna take the wool and I'm gonna go like a little cross pattern. So it'll be five of them. Okay, and then we'll go around it with the diorite. And hopefully that'll look okay, let's see. I don't think it'll look too bad. Let's see, like that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then on the top, should I do another purple? Let's let's see how that let's see how it looks with the purple. So we'll do it with the purple and then we'll try it with the slab. No, that's that's too big. Okay, so let's try the slab and see how that works out. Yep. Yep, I like that a lot better. So there's one little uh, there's one little area. And then I also got some of these to kind of mix in. Do I have do I not have white? Uh oh, I don't have white. Uh that's okay. So what we can do is I'll sleep in a second, but what we can do is just put down like I want to do white for it, but it's gonna essentially gonna look like little blankets on the floor. Okay, yeah, white, white will look better. And we'll do we'll do a bunch of those all over and they'll just represent like you know different um different blankets what is that two away so we'll kind of do it like two away maybe we'll do three away yeah we'll mix up the mix up the play the ways to go okay like that and we'll just and i'll kind of mix those and mix these and i'll uh, i'll go all the way around and then we'll worry about something up here like a changing area maybe we'll do like a volleyball court um, but it's gonna look cool. Okay, I am ready to show you guys what I did and I may have gone just the smidge overboard uh, But I am really really excited I, Let me just show you let me just first of all I move this guy over here I just you know I used the lead to move the to move him and I attached him here So now watch watch what happens when you walk through the door. He's gonna put that down. You're supposed to put that down And then you pick up oh. He just, he welcomes you with an axe. Anyway, yeah, so I went a little crazy. Here's a little sandcastle. I put all of these little trees, which I really like. We got a dressing room. Look, we got a little shower. We got the little showers. You can press the button. And here's the drains. It's double-sided, right, right by the entrance. So people can, you know, wash off their feet and stuff and shampoo themselves. Obviously, you saw all of these already. Look, look how cool the dressing room is, though. Look at it. So you got one side. I haven't put the uh, the iron doors yet. I'm gonna do that when I get more iron. And I also have to put um, cauldrons under here. I have two, but that's it. I don't have any more iron. Look at it. Okay, that's one dressing room. That's one side for men and one side for women. Women. Like, it's so cool. It's so cool. Again, these are going to have doors on them eventually, but I just don't have the iron right now. Look, another another uh, little shower. You got like a little picnic area, a little table area right here to sit on and, and eat. I'm trying to use the same theme without all, all the way through. Look at it. Oh, it's so cool. All right, and then you got, you know, you got your little path as you come down here. You can go left to right. I'm really, really excited with this design. Another dressing room way back over there. Here are my volleyball courts. This is a smaller one. It's going to be like, you know, for kids. And then you got the, the bigger ones. Their dimensions are a, a little bit wider here and right there. Again, we got our trees. I threw a couple more regular blankets down. Those are more like the, the lounge ones. I don't know if you guys ever seen them. They kind of look like they're sleeping bags. They have like a pillow built into them, but they're actually like towels that that have like a like a, a pillow built into it it's pretty cool i started seeing them around uh this year so I know that's what those are and then you got the regular towels right here just trying to keep the same themes and concepts throughout and you got another little table back here another little this one's a bigger one this one has four instead of three right all the way throughout and the dressing room here is the same one of these already has the cauldrons though is it this one yeah 
So this is how it's going to look when the cauldrons are in it. You got the light, the hidden light, because you can't see it when you first walk in. Same thing here, you got the hidden lights. But once I get the doors on it, it'll really, it'll really look good. Um, but I'm very happy with the spacing. I'm very happy I was able to get it. We got a couple more sandcastles. We got one there, another one over there. Uh, I ended up moving the flags on the on the towers, on the lifeguard station towers or whatever you want to call them, because I realized that the first one I did is going back. So I have to keep the wind consistent. Obviously, you can't have wind going different directions. That that would look stupid. So I changed all of the flags to make them go to the left. And also that one, the reason I, I actually did it originally was because the dressing room sign was in the way of this one. But then when I looked at the first tower, I was like, wait a second, <laughs> the flag's going back. You can't, you can't change the way the wind goes. See, so that was the first one I did and it's going this way. So I'm like, wait, what? That's silly. So yeah, I went ahead and I, uh, I changed that up because that was, that was in the way, but I'm pretty happy. The dressing room sign is double sided. So it says dressing on both sides. I even rounded off the corners a bit. Right there with some stairs to make it look more sign-like. But um but overall I'm I'm really happy. Now, I actually recorded myself building this, but I forgot to hit the uh, the unmute button. <laughs> so, yeah, that that footage is 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 useless. It's just me building and I was going to do like a montage but it just I tried it and it didn't come out properly so I scrapped it and then uh, everything else was just you know I mean this is pretty simple you could see how you know it's three high and I don't know seven wide or something like that very easy very easy to build same thing with the same thing with this this is really easy to build now this is cool because this actually um looks like a park uh near me there's well it's, it's, it's actually a dam but there's a park built like around the bottom of the dam so the dam is on the top you can like walk it and then on the bottom uh, of the dam all the way down you got to like drive all the way around there is a, a park it's like a state park and they have these little like tables set up and they're made out of uh this material here but it's not like this it's not andesite i think it's like uh quartz or just something but it's 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 stone like this pretty cool and I really like the fact that I went with this just straight up. I tried a couple different designs, but I wanted just some, because you know what? Because I had it like out more palm tree like. This is kind of, this is supposed to be like a, like a different kind of palm tree, but um, I had it more palm tree out where it like went up two, then came out. But because of all of the stuff that I had, uh, it, it just cluttered it up. You know, like it would be covering the dressing sign because it would come out to like, he, like this one would come out to here. So. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm really, really happy. Like I said, this is the biggest undertaking I ever did, taking down this mountain. So I really wanted to make sure that I, I decorated this area uh, nicely. Let's just go up here really quick and just get kind of a, a bird's eye view. Oh, goodness. I think that looks so good. I think that looks really, really good. Now, that is a beach. Oh, I'm so happy. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Next time out, we are going to build a bulk storage uh, area, a bulk, bulk storage unit, but this one's going to have a mini clock tower on all four sides, and that's going to go right here. So bulk storage, no redstone, though. There's no need for the redstone for this one. It's it's just going to be top loader, so you're just going to put the top down. Um and although I could fit redstone because there's enough space, but there's there's honestly there's there's just no need for for redstone because I'm not gonna have lights. I don't need the lights on it. I don't really care about the lights. So yeah, that and that's gonna look fantastic. And that will be the very last thing I build inside this village. That's it after that. Okay. Then the episode after that we'll do the oh uh, not the windmill. We'll do the um, thing with the light lighthouse. <laughs> we'll do the lighthouse. All right, so that's going to do it for me. Until next time, cap out. Peace.